if you're into hot rodding, this is it. This isn't old school hot rodding. This is like modern day hot rodding, old school. This is what people will be talking about in 20 years from now. It's a tea bucket. We built this one about five years ago for a customer, Jerry. And uh, it's just a cool car. It's got, it's pretty much got everything you'd want on a nice hot rod. It's even got a name. We were thinking about this car as we're building and I told Jerry it's got to have a name and he couldn't think of one. So I, one of the guys that works here come up with Hot Wheels. So this car happens to be for sale and it happens to be a Spirit car, a Spirit turnkey that we did in-house. And it's got a lot of stuff. So we'll just do a product preview on it. And uh, if it's still available when you see this video, it's a really nice car. It's, it's The car is nicer now than it was five years ago when we when we gave it to him. He's just been polishing and cleaning and underneath the car is as clean as the top of it. Well, I don't know how well you can see this. This thing is so shiny. The sun, the sun has got me blinded. But it's complete chrome front end on this one. It's got the shocks. We also do a friction shock, but this one has a, a regular gas shock on it. Very nice. It's got the chrome backing plates for the brakes and everything. They come with the GM calipers, GM rotors. This particular one has got the custom flame paint job on it. Chrome radius rods. These are hairpin style. We also do a style we call spirit style. A lot of bling on the motor. You can get uh, on the valve covers, you can get this one happens to have a, a flame um, design into it, but you can get a lot of different designs. Real nice DuraShine on the, on the intake. Very nice. It's got a hard top. This is a fiberglass upholstered hard top. It's upholstered on the outside. It's upholstered on the inside. And a couple screws come off here. And the seat will pop out in a couple screws and you can take your hard top off in about five minutes. And uh, you can have a regular roadster then. Gas tanks in the back. got some real nice wheels and tires. It's got the flame design and the Mickey Thompson tires. Real nice wheels. Got weld weight racing wheels. Like I said, it's Hot Wheels. The name really goes with the car. I don't know if you can see underneath, but it's got chrome coilover shocks. These are QA1 shocks. The bottom side of the car is every bit as clean as the inside and the outside. Nice tan interior. Flame design on the steering wheel. It's got the six gauge package. You get multiple different styles of gauges. This one just happens to be the six gauge package. And it's got a radio stereo system. I'm not sure, I'm not big on all that, but looks pretty fancy to me. They're pretty cool to look at, but there's only one thing better. <laughs> 